made some progress in the Let's Play world, and it is time that we finally go into the dungeon. Hey, what is up, guys? Trix here, and welcome back to another episode of Terraria 1.3 with TRXW. This episode, we are going to do it. We are going to delve into the dungeon to slay monsters and stuff. That, that's pretty much what we tend to do in the dungeon. So, yeah, I am ready. I am so, so ready to be able to be in the dungeon. I have looked forward to this for so long. So long, indeed. Because the dungeon is an essential part of every playthrough. And if we can find a water bolt, that would be fantastic. Nope. Uh, is that one? Uh, do I have any shine potions on me? I do not. That is unfortunate. But, yep, we were, uh, here's where we died previously. There's some spikes, so we probably would have died of those in a maze, but that's where the dungeon garden slayed us. Oh, nope, no water bolt there. Oh, we finally have some skeletons. Uh, normally when you enter the dungeon, you have, uh, just like shadow scale armor, but since we've been preparing for the Skeletron fight on Expert Mode for so long, we already have Molten Armor, which is really good, considering you're not supposed to really get Molten Armor until afterwards. Ooh, man, we are destroying these guys. I am just really hoping for a Marmusa, because that would be absolutely fantastic to get. Um, <clears throat> because I think... That is one of the best, or if we can get the Maramusa, then we can finally craft ourselves the Knight's Edge. So that's my goal for this episode, is uh, to explore the dungeon and to grab a Maramusa. If we can do that next episode, we will craft the Knight's Edge. And then we'll see about getting into hard mode. Oh, the spiky balls, I remember these. Oh man, oh jeez. That's pretty much my reaction. Um, oh, hello there. What is your name? It's Sally. Hi, Sally. What can we buy? A mechanical bro Oh, that sounds awesome. Can I return it? Oh, oh, well, dang it. Uh, well, we have this now. So, that's good. I don't know. We'll get plenty of gold from exploring the dungeon, honestly. Because... This place is just a treasure trove of gold and enemies and all sorts of stuff. Plus some awesome lighting. But yeah, uh, got the mechanic. Didn't expect to do, get that her this episode. So now we can finally wire some stuff, which I am really looking forward to. Except I don't want to get hit by the dark trap. That would not be very fun. Huh. A wooden shell. It looked... Huh. Dungeon wood shelves like oh wait that's different than wood platform. Can I stand on that? Oh yeah, that must be a wood platform. Oh well, that's pretty cool. I guess. Uh man, this dungeon is just straight down. Oh yeah, but it is a large world, that makes sense why it's just Ah Oh man, we are these guys we are still at four hundred health, surprisingly. Uh we are surviving. Which is impressive, to say the least. Because dungeon is not very friendly typically. What type of doors are these? I'm not sure. Uh, dungeon door. Man, those dungeon doors look so sweet. I mean, I have to take some of those sometime. But for now, oh, we finally have some diversion pads. Come on, give me some dungeon slimes or something. I wanna, I want to unlock one of these chests, get a Marmusa. That'd be great. That would be fantastic. Alright. Oh, we did get a golden key. Alright, open it up. Maramusa! That's awesome! Okay. So we got Maramusa. Didn't expect to get it on the first try, but we did. That is sweet. 22 versus 46, but the auto swing in it is so fast. Doesn't kill them very quickly at all. But this fiery great sword, man, this is powerful. Hmm. I'm gonna stick with this until we get the Knight's Edge, but normally it takes me like six or seven, even more tries before I can get the Maramusa, but uh, this time I don't 
think so. We got it right off the bat. I am glad I took that chance with that chest instead of waiting to see what else there was. But, um, yeah, alright. We're down in the floating skull level, or in the floating skull environment with this background. Oh, gosh. Well, jeez. Um, that's a... It's an interesting trap room. You've got the chest, but you've also got the golden. Or you've also got spikes literally everywhere. Oh, we have a dungeon slime. Golden key. Yes, please. Um, well, we've pretty much done it. We haven't explored the dungeon, but we've gotten everything important to us, and I don't really have time for much more. So. I'm not sure. Oh, we did get we got the clothing too. Um that's great. That's great. All right. Let's see if we can finish this up because I really have to go and take care of some puppies. Actually, 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 actually. We don't have to end the end the episode just yet. Well, this dungeon is so huge, it's probably best left off camera. So I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Terraria 1.3 of What have we found? An alchemy table? Alright! I think that reduces um, potion costs. But, let's open this last chest see what we get. Uh, demonic Aqua Scepter. So, that's it for this episode of Terraria 1.3 of Thank you all so much for watching and joining me on my adventure. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.